<laughs> now, my next guest has proven to be a shining light in the community. She is one of the four finalists of our Next Star Remarkable Women contest. And now she's here to tell us even more about the remarkable work that she does. Sarah Olsher. Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm yes. really excited. So I was on the committee who uh, like we were picking the finalists and whatnot, and we were just blown away by your thank story. You. Were you surprised when they finally reached out to you? <laughs> I was shocked. I was shocked. I was going into a doctor's appointment and the phone rang and, I, and it was like, oh, hi, I'm Bethany from Coin6. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Shout out to Bethany. She's yeah. working hard. <laughs> oh, man. It was so exciting. Yeah. yeah for real. So w let's talk a little bit about your story because yeah. your, your organization and the work that you do kind of stemmed from your daughter. Tell yes. me about that. Yeah. So she was a baby when I got a divorce. She was 18 months old and she was having a lot of anxiety yeah. and I was really worried about her and I wanted to make sure you know I could do whatever I could to help her and so that's kind of the beginning of it I decided to show her what um, our custody schedule looked like so she didn't have to worry about it and yeah. it was like overnight it changed everything <laughs> it was you, awesome. you really saw a, a big difference in I did kind of organizing her day and, and all that yeah and just showing it to yeah. her because I think like little kids they can't keep that stuff in their minds yeah and so just like making things visual for them is a total game changer it's yeah. awesome and in the midst of all of this you had some health trouble right? yeah yeah it's not been a very good decade <laughs> I'm, right. hoping, we're, I'm hoping we're, you we're know, turning it around. Up up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when she was six, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm. So then I was thinking, well, this is just fantastic. <laughs> like, how do I, how do I navigate this as a single mom? And how do I explain this to my daughter? Yeah. And so I, you know, tried to order a bunch of books from Amazon and really wasn't a fan of any that I got. And so during my treatment, I ended up writing one. Um, so now I have four books about cancer, so explaining the science of it and whether it's a, you know, adult who has it or a child or the sibling, um, there's a resource out there to show the kid, you know, what cancer is and how it's going to affect their lives. Yeah, and that's so amazing because you've partnered with some hospitals and like now your yes. books are in hospitals, yeah. they're available to kids to, like you said, read up on it and, mm -hmm. and kind of see what it really means because just saying yeah. cancer to a child, like, they, they don't really grasp it no. and, and don't know the road ahead exactly. and where that might lead. How does it feel to have your work like not only helping your daughter, but also out there helping kids in hospitals? It's totally unreal. Yeah. And I get to work with these amazing people. They're called child life specialists who help Ooh. kids who are dealing with, you know, health issues in hospital. And I'm just, I admire them so much for their work every day. And they're emailing me and saying, you know, we need this resource. And then I get to create it and work with them to do it. And it's such an honor. It's really amazing. Yeah. And you know, Sarah, I hear that you are on the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I have yes, not mastered that social media platform, but you're using it for so much yeah. good. Tell me about your TikTok. Well, <laughs> I also don't really know what I'm doing, so I just put stuff out there. And it's okay. been amazing because you can connect with so many people who are just like real and authentic and are, you know, dealing with their own challenges and making fun of themselves. And it's fantastic. And right before Christmas, I put up this video of one of my products, which helps kids learn how to reset their rooms, like basically tidy their room. Okay. And it has over a million views right wow. now. It was insane. So I'm sitting there on Christmas day in the middle of this ice storm and I'm watching, I'm watching this video just go up and it's nuts. So yeah. it's been really cool because I've been able to partner with people who are, you know, really big on TikTok, helping kids or helping people who are neurodivergent and create new products. And it's I cool. feel like that platform is definitely for people to create community. And mm -hmm. you seem like such a remarkable woman <laughs> to do something like that. And I have to thank you so much for being here thank and you. all the work that you're doing. In thank the community. you so much. Yeah. Anytime you want to come back, girl. Oh, thank okay. you. <laughs>